Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. You guys have asked for it, a comparison video between the awesome Cospet Tank T2 and the Vibe 7 Pro from Z-Blaze. They are both AMOLED screen displays with always-on capability and really, really nice. But which one's right for you? First of all, if you're thinking of giving them as a gift, both include great packaging. Cospet has the Tank 2 in a box that looks like this, and when you open it up, it's got the whole fold-out thing explaining its military-grade testing. It's in here by itself with the bands that you can attach. Now, I've put a metal band on this one here to play with that a little bit, but of course it comes with its own bands that you're going to see in the full review on this channel. We have that available for you as well. In the case of the Vibe 7 Pro, it comes in a nice box, got information on the back about it. You open it up, and it also sits in here by itself. The bands are underneath here, along with the charging wire and stuff like that. Let's get deep into it first. In case you're interested in the always-on display, you're seeing the analog version of it pop up here on the screen. That's one of the selling points of both of these, because very few have that. They have to have an AMOLED display in order to get the long battery life to give you that illusion of uh, always on screen. The twist to see the time is active on both of them now. So you can see there's the actual analog always on time and whatever face you put on, you twist it, it'll light up. Here with the um, Cospet watch, it's a little bit different design, but again, you twist it and it'll go into whatever face you've selected. Now there are digital versions too. Now this is where they deviate quite a bit from each other. On the Z-Blaze, you have a lot of other information, but it's really small in addition to the time. On the Cospet, you basically have time and date. And again, you can set up whichever watch face you want, and it'll come up into that face and touch it again, or we'll let it time out, and it'll go back into the ambient display. So those are possible deciding points right off the bat. If you see one you like better over the other, that's the one you want. But if you want to go deeper, let's do it. Let's take a look at watch faces, the actual faces available on the watch. This is the first one on the cost bet. There's number two, three, four, five, six, and we're back to the beginning. On the Z Blaze, here's one, two, three, and you're back to the beginning. There's only three on this one that you can have, and one of those, this one, is changeable um, through the app. Now on this one, of course, you saw we have more of them, and one of them is changeable as well. I forget which one. I think it's that one. Anyway, one of them you can modify, but the others are, are the uh, stock watch faces. So you got an advantage to the uh, Tank T2 in that it has a much broader variety of faces, especially if you really like orange, right? So what's available to look at on the watch besides the time? Well, bring them back into the watch faces again and slide over. We've got step count, distance travel, calories burned. This one shows you some extra information. This one does as well. So you've got graphs of your hourly steps and you've got total weekly numbers. It's a little bit better displayed on the Cospet watch, it appears to me. Slide again now and you get last night's sleep time on this one. And I'm going to go one more over for sleep time here. This is giving you just your overall basic information and your seven day information. Whereas the Cospet leads between the two by giving us a graphical representation as well as a nice breakdown of all of your sleep but doesn't give you the weekly summary. What's important to you? Well that'll help you decide. So over here we have heart rate. Back here we have heart rate. They're in different orders. Now forgive the strange numbers because I'm bouncing all over the place. Uh, that's not accurate. You want to wear it properly for accuracy. You can see on the Z Blaze we have a breakdown of 24-hour heart rate with an average displayed, and it'll show you what zone you're in. Here on the Cospet, we've got our 24-hour breakdown as well. The current rate, the high and the low, and a resting heart rate computation, and the last seven days. 
but I don't have, well, I do have the breakdown of the 24 hours, but it's in more of a crude hour-by-hour -hour average as opposed to the discrete information here. Which one's better for you? Depends on what you want. Come over here now, and we have uh, blood oxygen on the COSPET watch. And, of course, that's usually 97 to 100, so it almost is useless to see it in a chart format. It doesn't change much. It says it's measuring. It doesn't go any further now than this. It's using the red diodes, of course. This one, um, the Z-Blaze, does not display blood oxygen directly, although you can measure it. There's the heart rate. And then we come over here to weather on this one. And likewise on this one. Oh, excuse me. We have blood pressure as well on the COSPET. So you got blood oxygen and blood pressure displayed here. And then the weather. Here we had the weather. And then we, of course, go into the music player on both of these. You have volume up and down, forward and back, pause or play. They're basically the same. You can add components to both of them, but there's not a whole lot more available. Come down and you see you can add workouts on the uh, Z-Blaze if you want to. And here we can add uh, calls that you can get through by swiping or workouts as well. So let's add workout. Let's come back over here and let's take a moment to look at that area. What uh, Workouts. Cost bet. Here we go. We've got all kinds of things. Outdoor running, cycling, swimming, badminton, tennis. It goes on through a very extensive list. Jumping jack, strength training, skiing, VO2 max, karate, and on and on and on. Wow. All right. When we're looking at the Z Blaze, and we did that by having it added as a card here at the end. Basic walking, running, treadmill, which is indoor running, I guess, hiking, strength training, yoga, table tennis, rugby, cricket, cycling, and that's it. Um, not as broad a list as you find on the COSPET watch, but let me tell you a little bit of something about these. Most of these categories that you pick that are beyond the basic ones, like let's say volleyball, and over here let's say uh, basketball. Whatever they are, if they're kind of an odd one, you're going to get two things, well three. You're going to get elapsed time, basically, and you're going to get calories burned, and oftentimes you're going to get heart rate. So heart rate, calories burned, and time. Now nothing else when you slide up. So most of all these exotic sports that you've got on them are just some sort of an algorithm that they've determined how many calories per hour you are likely to burn doing basketball or rugby or whatever. And um, it'll just count the calories versus the time. And that's all there is. Your heart rate may compute into it. You notice it's constantly switching us back to the ambient mode here. But it is there and easy to twist your wrist and light it up on uh, the activity. Uh, but that's basically what you're looking at. So I wouldn't put a lot of credence in having a whole bunch of apps that you can do as long as your basic ones, running and walking and those kinds of things are there. Look for swimming and diving. And speaking of which... The COSPET is 5 ATM waterproof and the Z-Blaze 3 ATM waterproof. Does that make a huge difference? Probably not if you're just going to wash your hands or accidentally drop it in the toilet or take a bath with it, although you all recommend never using hot water with any smartwatch. It's the water vapor that could seep in more so than the actual water getting in the watch. And water vapor inside will definitely lower your life expectancy for your watch. So stay out of hot water, gang. But um, you could probably swim lightly with both of them. When you have a hardened uh, waterproof rating of AT, uh, 5 ATM, you have ability to withstand more pressure so you could do more breath strokes and crawls and things like that and maybe even some shallow diving and that pressure would still be a uh, sustainable 3 ATM it's a little bit less so you got a bit stronger waterproofing with the COSPET watch than you do with the Z blaze both of them now mind you have speakers and microphones in them so they do have holes where things could get in but supposedly they've taken care of that by making them waterproof and uh, 
you shouldn't have too much water intrusion there. We can stop out of these things and uh, both of them are easy to do like that and save your uh, results and transfer those over to the app if you want. You want more? Still not decided? All right, here we go. Let's check out basic controls. Slide down, you get all these goodies here. Now on the cost bet, you've got two pages. You see the dots down there? You can slide back and forth between them. Here, we've got one big round wheel. It doesn't go anywhere. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, what's missing and what's extra? Do not disturb is here, vibrate, and this is your uh, power, low power mode that you can turn on on the uh, cost bet, along with lock the screen. Now, when you do this, it immediately comes back. The screen is locked and it won't go anywhere. And the sad thing is it also, as soon as you touch it, comes to this face and won't go back to the time. How crazy is that? It should like, oops, it's locked, and push your button and you're back at the time or slide it. But no, once you do that, it's coming up with this, and the only way out of it is to press and hold and release. Kind of sad if you're swimming and you set everything up to do your swimming, and then you lock the screen, but you can't see any of the data. That is a glitch. It's fixable. It's a firmware issue. I hope they'll take care of that. That would be nice. But anyway, you do have that lock capability. Um, on the Z-Blaze now, I don't see a screen locking on here, but you do have a flashlight. So if you want a nice bright flashlight to get to your car and see the hole to unlock it or put your key in or whatever you need a flashlight for, and it was bright, you notice how it just suddenly went to super bright. Um, that's available in the Z-Blaze. Oh, getting harder to decide, isn't it? One of them by itself isn't perfect. You got Do Not Disturb and all that stuff on both of them. Here you got the Bluetooth calling. There it is, too, to toggle it on and off. You can change the layout, if you want to, of your um, apps and whatnot on here. And you've got your Twist Your Wrist to See the Time is on this one. Uh, right there, but you don't have it that way on uh, the Z Blaze. You have to do that differently. So a little bit of uh, subtle differences and where you locate things and what's important to you. See, it's not twisting anymore, right? I took that off, so the only way is to press it, but I'm going to turn it back on so we can keep moving. So there's a little bit of a quick look at the layout of the uh, different things. Now you get into the apps themselves and You've got phone stuff, and i got to tell you, the phone stuff is pretty much the same between the two. We're not going to dissect that in detail. you got telephone contacts, call records, and voice assistant, and um, the speaker's nice and loud. The connectivity is great, and that's supported on both of these watches. But when you get past all of the call stuff, you notice you've got heart rate, and blood oxygen here. Workouts we've already looked at. Now, this is interesting. You do have blood pressure here on the Cuspet watch. You don't have blood pressure available at all on the Z-Blaze. Well, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, blood pressure accuracy has been really challenging on smartwatches. So, you have to check if, uh, it calibrated, if it matches your calibrated blood pressure measurements uh, if you're looking for that, if you really need blood pressure on a watch and you're debating between these two, the cost bet's the one that's got it. It's not continuous, it's instantaneous. And you see, I'm not covering the diode, so it's, well, I was going to say it's not getting me a number, but look, it's getting me a number similar to the ones when I was wearing it and I haven't even been touching the back. So I'd question the accuracy of uh, the blood pressure for sure, since it seems to be reading it in thin air. It supposedly will show you the marks on here if you take these periodic measurements, but it's not doing it on a regular um, hourly basis. You got last night's sleep and weather and music player and messages. You have breath exercises. I'm pretty sure that's on both of these when you get into it. Female um, information is available for both of them. Here's your breath training. I got that there, and I've got that there. Um, they look different. They operate slightly differently. And I'm competing with a bird outside that I guess it likes my, my talking and thinks I'm singing to it. You hear it? I love it. Nature is so amazing. Uh, I've got stopwatches, alarm clocks. There's the voice assistant. Check it out. The Cosmet also has SOS. 
SOS, when you're Bluetooth connected and you've set it up, will allow you to place an emergency call directly from the watch and talk to whoever answers on the other end. That's great if you're looking at this as a gift or something for an elderly person who may need access to quick SOSing or you just want that comfort uh, for yourself. You get that on the COSPET. It's not on the Z Blaze. And then you got a toolbox. There's our flashlight. Look, we do have one on here, but we don't have it way back at the top. That was only on this one up here. But you do have the capability, you just can't get to it easily. Find your phone, remote cameras, you have a calculator in here. On this one, we've got timers, alarm clocks, you can set the time on the watch. You find your phone and then overall settings. So the calculator with the nice orange buttons comes with the Cospet Tank T2. Um, no calculator with the Z Blaze. And that's pretty much it for the apps when you get into overall settings now they're pretty basic there's your menu style for the layout of the apps we just saw a few selections the display where we did the screen time uh, raise your uh, watch to see the time set off uh, the um, always on display some battery stuff vibration intensity and languages basic basic system stuff shut down restart reset Nothing really significantly different there on this one. When you get down into the settings, we've got watch faces and themes, very similar layout, uh, always on display option, and the faces analog or digital, and of course changing themes right there. Language, date and time can be set on this watch from here. Now this is new, sports recognition. When you turn this on, the Cospet watch has the ability to recognize uh, five different sports, whether you're walking, running, cycling, doing an elliptical, all of those things are available. And that's pretty interesting, but it drains the battery a bit to monitor for that. Your overall brightness, sound and vibration can be set up here where you turn on um, media, audio, and whatnot. And of course, twist your wrist to see the time from there. Overall, do not disturb. You can download the uh, basic app. Uh, info for this watch in your overall system is, again, reset, reboot, and turning the watch off from here. Both of them you can press and hold long on the side to get to that turning them off uh, option as well. So you got quite an interesting selection between the two. The cases are different. Do you like one over the other? The always on display is different. The watch faces are different. You have more of them with the cost bet. You got a bit more overall flexibility, capability. You got blood pressure here. You don't there. But then again, as we mentioned, it's nebulous how accurate it is. But a lot of people say, don't judge a watch by the watch. Judge it by the tethering app. And that's what we got to look at. The cost bet itself uses its own app. Check it out quickly. You've got heart rate, sleep. You've got all these cards. You go into them and you get all these fancy details that are available. You get continuous heart rate. You can see it there. You tap it. You can get the whole chart and your zones that you're in. I'm rushing through it because you see this in much more detail when you go to the overall review of both of the watches. Blood pressure, as we mentioned, is only on COSPET. And blood oxygen, you are getting a real-time chart that could even show possibly when you're holding your breath or something and then the individual readings you got sporting activities and your overall watch controls are here as well basically similar between the two but this is where you can set up an SOS emergency call on the Cospet watch that you don't basically have on um, on the uh, Z Blaze but I'm going to switch over now Fit Cloud Pro is what's used for the uh, Z Blaze watch, it's much more limited. You have your step count info, last night's sleep time, kind of a chart here and basic information. Heart rate, not really showing continuous, although you can go into each of these days individually and see the charts and it's tracking each of those days. You can do the uh, reading remotely, by the way, and blood oxygen as well with a continuous chart, which isn't changing much on this one, uh, shown as well. No blood pressure, nothing else shown. Uh, when you're getting into here, you get your steps, of course, and in the cost bet one, we can 
go into here and see your overall steps too. But it also gives you these instantaneous uh, measured uh, things that you've done when you've activated them. You remember that thing we just showed you? You can turn on with a little recognize if you're walking or running or whatnot. That's what you're able to see here in addition to your basic step count. And of course, sports, we showed you all of that stuff on the Cospet watch. Here we have, we don't have sports, we have device information. No SOS on this one, but you can set up all the other kind of things and information about you. Here is where you get your sporting activities that you can do. On both of these, you set it up and it'll let, let you have the GPS tracking uh, associated with your workout from your phone, but you got to take your phone with you. But that's pretty much it for the two apps. So is there anything left, anything left at all to help you decide which of these two amazing AMOLED screen watches with always on capability you should buy? Possibly, possibly one more consideration. Price, right? Cost bet. From the original cost bet uh, source, uh, their, their home site, you can get the Tank 2, Tank T2 smartwatch right now, about $100. We can possibly get you a coupon discount on that. Check the show notes. I'll have the buying link directly here for you. And compared with now the Z-Blaze AMOLED Display Vibe 7 Pro, half the price, about well, actually more, uh, $44.79. At this point in time, uh, it's constantly changing the pricing. So you got to check the show notes. And if we have special DuPont, uh, coupon discounts for you, we'll list those as well. So that's a major difference between the two. The Z Blaze is considerably less expensive overall, but this one's dressier, has a few more capabilities to it. All in all, they look really nice. Haven't done full on battery testing on either one of them, but it. They should be pretty decent for both of them when you have the always on display off and in the battery savings mode. And even with the uh, always on display on, it's pretty decent because they're AMOLED screen devices. I hope all this has helped you. I hope you can decide which of these watches you'd like. This is the biggest question I've got was the distinction between these two. So I definitely wanted to do a quick review of um, the two watches together for you. You've been watching us here at smartwatchticks.com. Appreciate you being here, and we'll see you again soon, gang. Thanks for watching.